Hi everyone, this is a learning tool for doing fast write, a very quick one. We're going to start with a Morrison's pouch. Uh, so normally when you learn Android sound, your teacher will show you to push your probe on the right upper side of the patient. As you can see here, the hand, when you put the probe, is knocked to the patient bait uh, in the mid axillary line to the posterior axillary line because this is Probably the easiest way to see the kidney and we avoid a floating bar which is normally in the entry of the patient. As you can see, the number one here represents what should be the landmark for us to see the Morrison's pouch, which is the space between the liver and the kidney. As you can see here, this is hepatorenal renal recess ultrasound. On the left side of the screen is a normal one. So you see liver and kidney, which is in gray color because it is tissue. And then in between is hepatorenal renal recess or Morrison pouch. In the right side of the screen, when the patient has fluid, whether it is ascites or blood, you will see a black area in between these two organs. Another thing that um, I want to emphasize is the depth of the image. So normally, every time when you do ultrasound, you need to adjust the depth to put the area that you interest in the middle of the screen. In fast exam, as you can see in the circle and uh, the down right side of the screen, here the depth is 11 to 15. To make sure every time when you do fast exam to put Morrison pouch or have the renal recess in the middle of the screen. So this is what the fast is all about. The left side is single wheel fast, which is normally what we would do we do have the renal recess and then we move on. We say the fuzz is negative, which is not true. As you can see here, the sensitivity is 51%, which means you will miss half of the patient. So here comes the multiple view fast, which you scan three areas. The hepatorenal renal recess and then you move up to subphrenic space and then you move down to uh, inferior renal pool. The sensitivity shoots up to 81%. Uh, we we're going to see. Uh, so this is the second part of a fast exam, the subdiaphragmatic space. So what you would do is actually you move the probe from have the renal recess, slide the probe up to the patient head to you know the number second here in the picture, and then what you would see. So this is what subdiaphragmatic space in ultrasound would look like as you can see here you know the bright white curved line as I label diaphragm here is uh, the area that uh, we focus when the patient has fluid as you can see here you can see the black area under the diaphragm this is very critical especially when patient has fluid minimal fluid in the left upper quadrant uh, in the splenic rupture patient which maybe have a loculated or a small fluid in the area that is not a typical spleno-renal space or hepatorenal space. The third area is inferior renal pool. So when you start from hepatorenal recess, you slide from down to the patient's foot. And uh, what you would see is the uh, kidney and then the inferior pool of the kidney is the area that we are interested in. As you can see here, which in this patient, of course, it is negative, no fluid. So there you go, this is three areas that you need to scan to complete fast exam. The first one is hepatorenal recess. You scan up to see the subphrenic space and then you slide down to see the inferior pool. It would look like a sideways fashion when you look here. This is actually the correct fast exam because when you do this, you actually interrogate the anterior and posterior abdomen like a CAT scan. This is what the ultrasound would look like. You see a bright white light diaphragm, you see a have the renal recess, and then you see inferior renal pool. If you want to contact us, uh, please do. And um, we have a free uh, beta launch of fast section available in the App Store if you want to download and uh, feedback out what you think. And um, enjoy fasting. Thank you.